What creates an abundant existence? You might have tried manifestation techniques that haven't worked or vision boards that sit around and gather dust and you rarely look at them. Or perhaps you have these strategies but are rarely using them. I understand how that feels. I have been trialing techniques for the past 20 years ever since I picked up the book The Secret at age 15 and absolutely fell in love with personal development. But the thing is, is that these techniques offer very little if you can't imagine a future, if you're feeling stuck. It's very hard to navigate where you want to head to if you do not know where that destination is, if you've lost touch with it. How can a picture on a board motivate you when you aren't even sure of the first steps that you need to take towards that goal? It starts with aligning yourself with the goal, your beliefs about that goal, and the reasons why you want that vision to occur. That is where motivation lives. That's where it takes place. In the time that I've studied personal leadership, which I call it personal leadership because it's really about leading your life in the direction you want to head in. I've learned that to create an abundant existence, you have to start with your beliefs at the foundational level. That's what creates the changes to occur. You get a feeling like I want more things out of life or I want more time to do the things that I love. It comes from the nervous system. It's a signal that comes up. It's a message. And then whatever you use with that, the beliefs that you create around those things that are being fed to you, it's a loop. It creates it back into existence. So whatever you are feeding your conscious mind, it delivers. But here's the thing. We know that it works both ways, both negatively and positively. To feed it correctly, you have to work with the basics and program your mind to be able to create these outcomes with action. Then that photo on the wall becomes more than just an image. It becomes a hungry habit, one that you feel driven to bring into existence. Research shows that people are more motivated by avoidance rather than acquisition. Let me say that again. People are more driven by avoidance rather than acquisition. This negativity bias means that people dwell on what they have to give up rather than what they will gain. This is why negative news gets more attention because it actually draws a greater focus. To break free of negative drivers, you have to create positive ones. You have to energize and empower the new thought patterns rather than the avoidance ones that are so deeply programmed into our psyche. You have to embody personal leadership and discover how to transform your beliefs to achieve the goals you want to achieve and the change that you'd like to see. If you're feeling stuck, believe in your potential. Take the first step that you think you need to take and then very soon all the others will follow. The path will unfold before you. That's what manifestation is. It's about putting yourself in that lane, in this existence, for the things to line up for them to occur.